focusing on improving yourself, what will happen, and I promise you this is what will happen, is that you will start to attract other people that are like-minded. And you will start to attract other people that are more like yourself. It's almost like walking around uh, and walking down the street with like a red hat on. And what other people will start to say, Mayday family, how are you guys doing today? I'm so excited to be talking to my family today. Everyone likes to be liked, myself included, right? So it's almost like everyone walks around in today's day and age asking to be liked. And a lot of times if they're not liked, it, it just kind of messes with their whole psyche and their whole reason for being. Uh, being liked, although there's nothing and I repeat, there's nothing wrong with wanting to be liked. There is kind of a limit, right? Let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first thing about being liked is you definitely want to make sure that even though, of course, it's great and nice for people to like you, you want to be sure to be unapologetically yourself. Be unapologetically you because all the other people that have red hats on will then see that you have a red hat on and they'll be attracted to you, right? They'll come towards you and they will kind of start engaging with you and talking with you and vice versa, right? You'll be walking down the street and you'll start noticing other people with red hats on and you'll be drawn to them, right? You'll be attracted to them. You uh, move towards them, you engage with them and it creates this wonderful relationship. Why? Because you guys already have so much in common that's based on your truest selves and your truest being. So people that aren't necessarily like you or like-minded uh, or have reasons for not liking you, whatever the reason may be, will slowly drop off from your life and what will happen is they will be replaced with like-minded individuals that are just kind of like think like you. They might have their own differences but they think like you and you guys will be automatically kind of like drawn together and have that support uh, and so be able to support each other. But you can't do that if you keep all these uh, other colored hats around in your life that don't necessarily fit your being, right? So they are taking up space that uh, could be taken up by other people that are more like-minded and other people will see that. If you're yourself, other people will be attracted to that and they'll naturally just kind of uh, be drawn to you, I promise you. When you're not and when you let other people kind of dictate who you are, then you're never really going to be truly happy. So you have to be unapologetically yourself. And that word is so important, unapologetically. Don't apologize for being yourself. And if someone doesn't like it, then they don't like it. That's not the, the person for you or that's not the person that you need to be around or spend your time with. You need to surround yourself with people that appreciate you for who you are and appreciate your entire being and love you all the same. Because that's the key. I mean, I understand that people like to be liked and it's just human nature because I like to be liked as well. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't feel very nice if someone doesn't like us and then we find out. Uh, as a matter of fact, a lot of times it turns into a very dramatic experience. <laughs> you, a lot of drama starts happening around that. But one thing that we need to keep in mind on a daily basis as we kind of go through those momentums and those periods is to be unapologetically ourselves. Be yourself. That's it, period. So even if someone doesn't like it, then that's their problem, right? That's their issue. They need to deal with that on a daily basis and kind of think about that and figure out what the reason might be that they don't like you. But it's not your issue to deal with if someone else doesn't like you. I mean, you can't necessarily, for you can't force someone to like you. You can't make them like you. You can't make them want to be around you. You can't make them do anything. That's the one thing that we can't do. And honestly, I will not lie. I wish I had the power to do it. But the one thing we can't do is control other people and control other people's actions. 
don't have the power to do that. Unfortunately, that has not been invented yet, although I wouldn't be surprised if it were to come up in the future that there was some new device that would allow you to control other people with kind of like the rate at which the technology is moving nowadays. Anyways, back to the point, you can't make anyone else do anything. Another thing that you can't do is read minds. You're not a mind reader, reader, okay? So the best that you can do is be you and be the best version of you that you can possibly be on a daily basis. So please remember that. So if someone doesn't like you or if you're going through it with someone, you can't necessarily do anything in order to make other people like you. It's going to be futile. You're going to try and you're going to try and nothing is going to come from it. You know why? Because you can't control other people. And so uh, with that being said, just remember to be you. Be unapologetically you. Don't apologize for being yourself. Don't apologize for being who you are. You are wonderfully made. Uh, Every one of us is wonderfully made. We all have our talents and we all have our skills and uh, you want to surround yourself with uh, not only like-minded people but people that can value and appreciate you for who you are and your individuality. Whatever it is that you bring to the table, bring it to the table and don't apologize for bringing that to the table and for being yourself on a daily basis. So. Be unapologetically you. That's the first thing to remember when it comes to wanting to be liked. So the second thing to remember is to take risks, be brave, and keep going. Take risks. Like, when you're being yourself, a lot of times it can kind of be a risk. I come from a corporate background, and it's really hard to be yourself when you're in corporate. They have a lot of expectations. Uh, a lot of things that they expect from you and it's easy to lose yourself in that and to stop being yourself and even at school if you want to make friends it, it can be really easy to lose yourself because you're trying to do all these things in order to be liked so be brave in being you be confident in being you remember to be brave in being yourself we talk about bravery in a lot of other different senses like be brave in trying what to do, like trying new things. Be brave in following your dreams. But we don't often talk about, and we don't often hear other people talk about being brave in being you, which is where it should all start. It, you know, you should really be brave in being you, no matter what situation you find yourself in, because the pressure can be insane and intense, right? When you're trying to. Uh, be yourself, but you know, you have all these other people that are a certain way and you want to fit in You really want to be liked. take risks, right? So it's always going to be a risk Especially if you're trying to be liked to just kind of be yourself anyway Despite what it is that you see other people might be doing It's always going to feel like maybe you're taking a risk and it might always it might sometimes actually be a risk it's like especially if it's for example in a corporate uh, background like we talked about it's like your job or something like that but remember to take risks right risks that risks that make sense and risks risks that support who you are so take risks in being yourself take risks uh, and believe in yourself be brave in yourself take risks that further emphasize who you are and support who you are. Keep going, right? Keep moving forward, right? So if someone doesn't like you, keep moving forward, guys. Please don't stop just because someone doesn't like you. That's, like I said before, that's their issue. They need to kind of work that out within themselves. But you don't stop. You keep going because that is not your issue. You're called on this earth for a purpose and you need to keep going steady full steam ahead okay and that's kind of like the third part of that is keep going no matter what and keep going while being brave and being confident in yourself um, and keep going while taking risks in yourself and taking risks and being yourself because let's be honest, when it comes to taking risks, sometimes it can be a risk to be yourself. If you're around a certain group of people that are a certain way and you're different from what they are like or what it seems like they're like, 
and you have something to gain from that particular group of people, like you want sponsorships or something like that, it could be a risk to be yourself. But don't stop being yourself because of that. Be brave, take risks, and keep going. Keep moving forward, push full steam ahead. But the third thing about being liked to remember is don't change you, change your surroundings. You don't have to change yourself. If you find that you're hanging out with people that don't like you or people that don't like you or hanging out around you or you keep running into them, change your surroundings, not yourself. You're not the issue. You're not the one that you need to change. What you need to change are the people you're surrounding yourself with. Uh, so change your surroundings. Don't change yourself. And it's not even necessarily just other people, but it could also be your environment. Right? So if your environment isn't healthy or isn't conducive to your goals and your dreams, if it's a sad environment, if it's making you feel down, if it's making you feel uh, depressed, then change your environment, change your surroundings, change the people that you have around you, change the people that you trust. Really evaluate what those people um, are like, you know, and really, really work on changing that. Because like I said before, it's not your issue, it's their issue. And you definitely don't want to be around like negative people all day, every day. You don't really want to have to deal with any of those things. So don't start with you. Don't start with feeling like there's something wrong with you. Because uh, there's not, right? Start with evaluating your surroundings, okay? Taking a look at who are the people that surround you and start with changing that, right? Chart, start with changing that and making sure that your surroundings and the people around you are conducive and kind of correlate with who you are and who you want to be. Fourth and final thing, don't change you, improve you. Okay, so everything that we've talked about so far is based on, you know, people not necessarily liking you and you wanting to be liked by other people and that includes myself i love being liked i'm not gonna lie but always keep in mind is you don't have to change yourself but always improve yourself there's a drastic difference between those things between feeling like you have to change yourself and feeling like you want to continuously improve yourself and improve who you are so that kind of ties it all together so i'm not saying don't ever change right uh, what i'm saying is you don't have to change yourself what you need to do is focus on always improving yourself in order to always be the best version of yourself that you can possibly be so you always want to improve yourself so you can put forth and put forward the best version of yourself every single day every single time that you keep growing and you keep improving, right? Don't these negative Nancy's that might not like you or say negative things about you. Don't get stuck on that, you know? If there's something that you want to improve about yourself, then work on that and improve it. Everything can be improved. So don't you don't have to don't feel like you have to change your being or change who you are or change your core or change your values or change anything about you. Period. You just don't have to do that. It's too much work anyway, and there's no reason to. Okay, don't change yourself, improve yourself. We like being appreciated, and what I'm finding, especially in 2018, today's day and age, is that a lot of people are willing to change themselves in order to get that response. And that's not the way uh, to necessarily go about it. What we really wanna focus on doing is changing our surroundings, improving ourselves. That you don't have to change yourself and you can be unapologetically yourself. Point blank, period. If someone doesn't like it, that's fine. They're entitled to their own opinion, but you need to keep it moving forward, right? You have goals and you have dreams that you wanna meet. So please remember that, that's the discussion for today. Keep that in mind, know that you are wonderfully made uh, and keep moving forward. Thank you guys for joining me today. Please subscribe and comment below with all your thoughts. I'm really excited about this topic because so many people um, wanna be liked, myself included, everyone wants to be liked, right? If, if someone tells you they don't care about being liked, 
It's probably not true. It's just a social construct. That's how we're socially constructed to be. We need other people. We're social beings, right? So uh, in that also comes being liked uh, and having that social interaction and feeling appreciated by other people. And there's just absolutely nothing wrong with that. Uh, but just keep those four things in mind and know to always uh, keep pushing.